In this video, we'll use PCMRP's optional barcode program to create custom barcoded labels. Before I start, I'm going to open PCMRP's manual by selecting Manual and Table of Contents. I will go to section 15.4.2.23 to get the correct names for my standard and custom labels. Here I can see that partlab2x.lbx is the name of my standard sheet-fed 2 across 10 down Avery labels and that the custom label must start with the letters cust par and then anything dot lbx. Now that I've got that information, I'll minimize the manual and we're ready to start. I will select configuration and settings and utilities. I will select option 24 and click on the run utilities 24 button. You can create custom forms, reports, and labels. I'll select custom labels and press the OK here key. I will select parlab2x.lbx file. Since the barcode size is measured in pixels, I'm going to change my grid to pixels. I'll click on Report, Properties, Ruler Grid, and Pixels, and then press the OK button. To make room for the barcode, I will select the first three text boxes and press the Delete key. Once they are gone, I will click on the Olay button and draw a box about 50 pixels high and 300 pixels wide. I'll click on the expression or variable name and click on the ellipse button. I'll answer yes to use PCMRP's barcode image software. This will open up PCMRP's barcode designer. I can select from a number of different barcode symbologies, such as 3 of 9, UPC, etc. I'll select 110 code 128 as it supports alphanumeric characters and can be placed into a fairly tight space. I'll select character set B. If I click on the barcode info tab, I can see that character set B supports upper and lower case letters. I'll make the image type JPEG. I'll check the human readable checkbox and go with Arial as my human readable font. Just to make sure everything's going to fit, I'll enter cap 56789012345. This will show me that a part number consisting of 15 alphanumeric characters will print out within my 300 pixels. Well, it looks like it's going to be 220 pixels, so that should fit our label. Now let's change the height of the barcode labels to 44 pixels. I will click on the send control box, send control code to the designer button. Next I'll replace the double quotes with the word partno, P-A-R-T-N-O. I will set the barcode to scale contents and retain state. I will click on file and save as cus part 128b.lbx c u s t p a r t 128 b like and boy dot lbx and press the save button now we'll click on the file and close i'll click on save and leave the settings and leave the settings and utility screen to test out our new label i'll click on modules inventories and labels i'll select parts sheet fed Start at label 1. I'll select Display, Custom, and select my custom label, Cust Part 128B.LBX. I'll include all parts and hit the OK button. And here are my labels. From now on, whenever I want barcoded labels, I'll simply select Modules, Inventory, Labels, and select my custom barcoded label form. I'll click on the Xbox and return to PCMRP's main menu. Well, I hope I've shown you just how easy it is to create barcoded labels, forms, and reports with PCMRP's barcode module. 